What's up everybody? I hope you're doing good. Today is a beautiful day. You see, I mean, colors, it's just nice. So today we're going to jump into it again. Uh, talk about Africa and the goal of bringing Africa where it deserves to be. We're going to talk about Burkina Faso. I'm sure you know about, heard about it before. Burkina Faso is a beautiful country in West Africa. The country of Thomas Sankara. I'm sure you've heard about him. Great person, great figure of the fight against colonialism. Awesome person uh, that was killed, unfortunately, because of his view, because he wanted a free Africa, if Africa that's independent, an Africa that wanted to live for itself, an Africa that's autosufficient, that produces good and things for itself. Burkina Faso today is going through a lot of things, a lot of terrorist attacks and many other killings and so many armed groups in the north of the country. And this started because of something we're going to explain very shortly. The president of Burkina Faso, a young man, 34 years old, named Ibrahim Traore, was accused many times by the West. They say that he was inviting Russia, especially Wagner Group, according to the West. It's unacceptable that Burkina Faso invite Wagner Group. Uh, they shouldn't be doing that because all these people are ruthless. They just come to steal minerals. They come to do nothing good. And that's it. So Burkina Faso was an ally of the French government. The French military came to Burkina Faso a while back to supposedly come fight against a terrorism that was created after the death of Mohammed Gaddafi. The terrorism in Burkina Faso never existed before that. Terrorism started after Muhammad Gaddafi was killed. So meaning, when they killed Muhammad Gaddafi, you know who killed him? They obviously created a problem that never existed in the past. Then they came and offered to fight the very problem they created in the past. Burkina Faso accepted at the time. But after a few years of fight between French troops and supposedly terrorists, it seemed there was no change at all. So the terrorism continued. In spite of the fact that the French government and the French soldiers were trying to fight terrorism, it seemed not to finish. So the youth of Burkina Faso decided to topple two presidents in order to take the lead of the country. They said, you know what? These presidents have been unable to fight terrorism. Let's do this ourselves. So this young man, 35 years old, Ibrahim Traore, very strong, very well-groomed man, military soldier, leading the country for some time now. Burkina Faso interim president Ibrahim Traore on Thursday said Russia had become a key strategic ally, but denied that Russian mercenary were supporting Burkina Faso in fight against Islamic group. On a beaucoup d'alliés. Voilà. Le départ de l'armée française même ne signifie pas que la France n'est pas un allié. L'ambassade française est là, mais on a des alliés stratégiques aussi. Voilà. On a de nouvelles coopérations. On a la Russie par exemple, qui est un allié stratégique. La chance c'est que la plupart de nos moyens majeurs même sont russes et on continuera d'acquérir des moyens majeurs avec la Russie. Vous avez la Turquie qui est un allié majeur. Vous avez d'autres États aussi. Donc on a beaucoup d'alliés. Nous... Seulement les niveaux de coopération diffèrent et on va coopérer avec ceux qui souhaitent nous aider dans cette guerre. Et accepter nous vendre de, des équipements, accepter nous accompagner. Why does he say that? He says that because for many, many months they were putting pressure on him saying, why have you invited Wagner Group into the country? Why have you invited Russians into the country? As if they have the right to tell him who to work with. He says the departure of the French army does not mean that France is not an ally, but we have strategic allies too. We have now new norms of cooperation. Russia, for example, is a strategic ally. He said Russia was a major supplier of military equipment and we remain so without giving further details. Our army fights alone, he said. Wagner presence was invited to arm Burkina so countries will not cooperate with us. So this is very simple. This is a country where people have lived for so many years against terrorism. They decided to topple the president because the president was useless, was not fighting terrorism in a way that he should have. The French people offered to come and fight the terrorists, but unfortunately, for many years, they have proven to be unable to finish terrorism in Burkina Faso. So what has Burkina Faso done? They decided to ask the French soldiers to leave the country which is absolutely normal. If you go to a doctor, you're trying to resolve an issue, a disease that you have, and you see no result, what do you do? Do you stay with the same doctor? No, you don't. You go find another doctor, right? So the previous doctor gets really pissed off because you went to find another doctor. Don't you feel that there's something fishy? 
when the previous doctor get pissed off because why did you go find another doctor? I, I'm your doctor. You don't need to go see another doctor. That doesn't sit right. That's exactly what happened in Burkina Faso. It felt to them like maybe the French government has something to do with the terrorists in the country. Therefore, let's go find somebody else. Same as someone would feel if you went to a doctor and felt like things were not changing. So maybe whatever the doctor is giving you is not working, right? That was exactly what happened to Burkina Faso. And now they put pressure on them, making them feel like you're doing something absolutely wrong. How come you can be working with Wagner? How come can you choose Russia over us? Doesn't make any sense. Russians are here just to steal gold and minerals. Now my question is, if Russians are here to steal uh, minerals, what are you there for? Are you telling me the French soldiers were just willing to go die for free? They, they, they're not looking for anything? Absolutely not. Everybody's there for their own interest, right? Exactly. But whether you're there for your interest or not, the bottom line is you need to resolve the problem. You need to find solution to the problem. If you are not finding solution to the problem, then you become the problem. The issue is not how much money you pay to the doctor. The issue is, is the doctor finding you solution to your problem. That's what's important. The French are saying that Russia is doing propaganda, spreading anti-French sentiment in Africa. But I will tell you, if you look into the history, history will tell you something very different. Back in time during World War II, French people came to recruit African nationals to go fight for them in a war that they did not even understand. Yes, black people went to France and went and fight next to French soldiers against Germans during World War II. They fought, many of them lost their lives, many of them fell. Many lost members, many lost legs and arms and situations. Many lost sight. They were treated in a way that was not necessarily humane. Even though they fought for French people, they were separated from French soldiers at the entry of Paris. So what happened? These black African soldiers fought for France in World War II. But by the time it was time to get into Paris, when they recuperated Paris from the Germans, the French made sure no black face showed itself in the street of Paris. Yes, they made sure that no black soldier showed his face in the street of Paris. So they whitenized the army to show to the people that French people won the war. In reality, that was not what happened. They fought side to side to win this war. They made many promises to these soldiers saying, we're going to give you citizenship. You're going to get salary. You're going to get retirement fund. That's not what happened. By the time these African soldiers asked for money to be paid as it was due to them, they were taken back to Africa and shot to death. This is history. You can check it and find out. There's no anti-French sentiment. There is just history that is constantly reminding us of things that has happened in the past. You can only judge somebody based on what he has done in the past. That's what life is. Now, props to this president, Ibrahim Traoré, who's doing a tremendous job with his country, who has said very frankly, we are working with the Russians. Uh, nobody's going to stop us. They are allies. This doesn't mean that we don't like French anymore. We're still partners, but in this specific fight against terrorism, we choose to work with Russian, who are equipping us with military equipment. 34 years old, president of the Burkina Faso country. Let me know, guys, what you think, how you feel about this. God bless.